Excuse me, miss. Do you know where the restroom is? This is what we're not gonna fucking do. You're not just gonna walk in here and objectify me because I'm a female. Quite frankly, it's fucking disgusting. I can't believe that you're just gonna come in here and sexualize my body because I'm a bad bitch. That is not something that you're allowed to do, and that is not something I gave you permission to do. You are a disgusting man who has just walked in here and verbally assaulted. Where is the fucking bathroom before I take a shit on your fucking plate? Quite frankly. <laughs> Expand to came down to polysense and chose this glizzy preset. Niggas know I be gobbling more glizzies than a gluttonous gladiator. <laughs> First thing we did to that glizzy was we just threw on this EQ and I literally put a dot right here because I didn't do shit. After the EQ, we just came into Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm not gonna explain everything I did because you can literally see with your own two eyes unless you just so happen to be one of them handicapped blind niggas. I don't even know how you stumbled upon this video. I'm gonna be on it with you. You know what? I'm gonna help you out a little bit. I put it on 32% mix, the K192, and the mode is core space. I don't know how in the hell you're gonna manipulate any of those settings considering you can't fucking see. But after the reverb, we just came in and added this uh, uh, time preset this uh t uh <laughs> The next sound in the melody, I just came into Hive 2, came to the plugs and stab section, and chose this fifth opposition preset. For any of y'all plugin gurus out there, any of y'all niggas that has been watched every single BusyWorks B video, can you please tell me how to more efficiently um, go through these sounds? First thing we did to that sound, just came into Valhalla Vintage Reverb, um, turned the decay down, turned the mix down. After the reverb, we just came back into Shape Box 3 and chose this Frogger's Revenge preset. I literally didn't touch any of these, but I'll show you what they do anyway, just because I know niggas do like, Show us the preset! Show us the preset! Okay, nigga, relax. Just starts with this pan, um, then we have the drive, I don't know what this is doing. Then we have the filter, as you can see, there's hills and, you know, the, I still don't know what this is doing. And then after the filter, we have this volume right here, uh, which is just literally a straight line and this doesn't look to me like it's doing much of anything. When you're making a lot of these synth heavy type beats, make sure that you're using uh, Shape of Box 3, Effect Tricks, Loop Raider, all those plugins. Those are the plugins that will help you get that unique sound and that unique feel with a lot of these synth heavy melodies. Here's what those two sounds sound like together. <laughs> The next sound we came into Serum. The sound that we chose was in the Flux Serum Bank and it is called the Retro Sim. Currently, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds like my house is on fire, so I'm gonna just have to go hurry up real quick and evacuate the building because it sound like there is a fire upstairs. If I do not return, then that means I fucking died in a fire. I look that fire right in his eyes. I say, what you want to do, nigga? He just dispersed him, just like that. And as you can see down here, we did uh, not shit to the fucking sound. <laughs> All righty then, you black boys, let's ride out. Here's what all three of those sounds sound like together. <laughs> The next time we just came into Electra X, chose this Big Works Filthy Animal Bank because of, apparently this nigga like dirty ass animals. And then we just chose this uh, Every Angle Art because when the shorty sending you ass pics, you don't want just, oh, just one little ass pic. How the fuck you gonna beat off to that? You need a picture of every single angle so you can envision and articulate the geometry of her ass. It'll allow you to calculate the circumference of her, you know, ass cheek. First thing we did to that sound was just half time to put it on this little one fourth setting. After the half time, I just came into Fab Filter and just EQ the sound. The high end was just piercing my fucking ears. When I hear that shit, I just want to choke the life out of a nigga. Just choke every everlasting breath out that nigga. After the EQ, we just came into Shape of Box 3, added this little diagonal line. It kind of just reverses the sound a little bit. And then it came to the pan and just panned it from left to right on this little jiggly joke and turned the mix down to 81%. Here's what those four sounds sound like together. For 
the final sound in the melody came back in the fucking serum again, went to the Void Volume 2 serum bank, which is also old as shit, and then chose this Hide Synth preset. First thing we did to that sound, EQ just took out some of the lows and took out some of the highs because they was just shitting in my ears. After the EQ, we just came into Portal, came to... What the fuck does this even say? Came in there and chose the uh, Arctic preset and just turned the wetness down to halfway because I wasn't trying to nut too quick. So I had to make sure I turned the wetness down a little bit because if I get that wetness at 100%, I'm only lasting 30 seconds. Here's what the entire melody sounds like together. <laughs> Let's get into the drums. For the first song, I just came in and added this simple 808 pattern. A lot of these fall on actual beats of the, you know, I don't know what the technical term for it is. One of y'all nerd ass niggas can correct me in the comments. But all these 808s hit within a metronome click. I know there's a term for it, like upbeat, downbeat, but I don't know which fucking one it is. After the 808, we just added this snare. All right, and then keep your mouth shut and keep your dick tucked because I'm running through your sister. So now we're going to move on to the hi-hat pattern. If you listen close, I'm sure you notice the hi-hat is probably ducking out a little bit, and that's just because I threw this effect tricks on there. I used this little reverse preset. After that hi-hat, I came in and added another hi-hat just to fill the space. I just made sure to pan this hi-hat from left to right just to create a cool effect when the roll hits. So after the hi-hats, I just came in and added this open hat. Kind of just makes those beats just hit a little bit harder. You hear that little open hat come in and you just kind of like, mmm, give me your money, nigga. <laughs> Last but not least, we just added in one more open hat just to fill up space. But you want to make sure that you're not filling up every single hole because then, obviously, she's going to get pregnant. So if you in here filling up every hole, clean pie every single hole, how the nigga going to rap on the beat? Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a Jaleel beat or whatever the fuck the title of this video is called. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do it is by leaving a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Also, make sure if you haven't yet, you go join the Discord. We've got the best underground producer community in the fucking world, nigga. No cap, no lie. But yeah, that is all for this video. I'm going to go suck some dick, so I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.